All right, good people. Brian, you back yet? No, you're not back yet. Okay, so per Albert Breer, breaking, this is breaking, and this is huge, good people. Um, Sean Sharif is reporting that Jerry and Stephen Jones will not be appearing this week on 105 The Fan. Yes, they have come on in the past to recap the season, but the radio agreements for this year actually expire when the Cowboys' seasons end. So that's not a good sign that, you know, for them not to come on and say, you know, the season, we were happy with what Dak Prescott did. You know, we got some good pieces and things and all that. And Mike McCarthy, we fell short, but we believe it. No, that means that they are contemplating the future of this team and the direction. And I don't know that anybody should feel comfortable right now. Let me repeat again. Jerry and Stephen Jones will not be appearing this week on 105 The Fan, and they have come where they have always come to in the past to recap the season. Wow, wow. Um, the more you know, I'm gonna say, and we also have Des Bryant is recruiting Mike Tomlin. So, this is interesting. Brian, glad you're back. We got a couple of things. We have Des Bryant trying to recruit Mike Tomlin. Um, he said he is ready to be Dallas's next head coach after playoff loss. Um, I would love to see that. But also, too, here's another one that is really interesting, Game Time. Uh, Sean Sharif says, Jerry and Stephen Jones will not be appearing this week on 105 The Fan. Yes, they have come to come on in the past to recap the season, but the radio agreements for the year actually expire when the Cowboys' seasons end. Um, are we reading anything into they are not talking? And you, you had said that Jerry Jones had hopped on his private jet and left. Okay. Yeah. Um. Mike Tomlin hasn't been fired by the Steelers. How are we talking about him being the next coach? Former Dallas Cowboy wide receiver Des Bryant has his preference for the team's next coach. Bryant, okay, well, responded to a post on the X platform, formerly known as Twitter, that showed Pittsburgh Steeler Mike Tomlin walking off the podium after being asked about his future uh, with the team following the Steelers' wild card round loss of Buffalo Bills. Brian's response suggested that Tylen's next stop could be with his former franchise. Which, if it, I don't know if you've seen this or not, but Mike Tomlin is at the podium with the sweat, you know, hoodie on, and he somebody said, you know, do you know about your future? And he literally just kind of hit the podium and just walked off. So that would be interesting. Question would be is, would the Cowboys entertain that? If he is let go, and how would we feel about having Mike Tomlin? One thing I could say about Mike Tomlin would be is he wouldn't put up with shit. You remember what he did with A.J. Brown? I'm sorry, um, uh, but Antonio Brown. Um, you know, with the, the locker room stuff and the text messaging and things like that. Um, that might be a kind of guy who can install some discipline. Um, I'd say that he has a better quarterback to work with than what he had over there um, right now as we've got nine minutes and nine seconds left here for the Eagles season down 25 to nine. Interesting turn of events. So we believe that Mike McCarthy is definitely going to be axed. Uh, is that safe to say? Um, Um, and here's here's another here's another part here's another part to add to the coaching carousel. Bill Belichick officially interviews with Falcons uh, per Mike Fisher, um, and I had heard earlier today that he that he was on Arthur Blank's you know 170 foot yacht or whatever. Uh, and we got Boston Barty. Some Philly fans retweeted this last night, like. I was being disrespectful. I didn't lie. Don't stress about who you'd rather play 
Every team has something they're good at. Just focus on the Cowboys and their superpowers. The, Bron uh, the Bucks are the only team playing a scrub. Wow. Shout out to Vosh. Playing a scrub. Oh. Wow. And at the moment, you, you can't say that uh, Vosh is wrong. Because the Eagles do look like some bullshit right now. Big play made on Slay. Um. Right now, this is the championship drive right now. This is like the, the final straw. You're up 25 to 9. And guess what? See, this is the, this right here is the difference of what the Cowboys are and should be. Because you see what Tampa Bay is able to do this whole game? Is run the damn football. And by being able to run the football, it's kept the defense off of balance to make Baker Mayfield. Because I know I'm going to have people in here saying, Baker Mayfield's better than Dak Prescott. That, and it's like, if your offensive line can block and you've got a running back, you can make some yards. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Trav202. Shout out to you, buddy. Troll away. Troll away. Yeah, that's your coach who will find out if he's... Okay, here's the big question. Who will be fired first? Nick Sirianni or Mike McCarthy? Because the Cowboys... Yeah, because here's the thing. Cowboys are wasting time like they always do. You know, because there were other... If I remember right, there were other coaches out there that the Cowboys could have hired, but they waited around a week before they fired Jason Garrett, and some of the other candidates were already gone, and we were kind of left with Mike McCarthy. Mark exactly running the ball and helping Baker. And we ended up getting rid of a decent back that was past his prime and getting nobody. Nobody. And that goes back to the ownership. So, Bill Belichick... Officially interviewing with the Atlanta Falcons. Dan Quinn has meetings with the Chargers, the Commanders, the Panthers, and the Titans. And we believe also will be following up with the Seattle Seahawks. Harbaugh, I think, is with the Chargers. Uh-oh. And Queen Bella said, Mark, check your Twitter. I sent you something good. Tell me something, girl. Okay. Um, Queen Bella. Dallas Goddard has words for Jalen Hurts. Wow, Dallas Goddard is just like, I'm sick of this shit! Wow. Shout out to the Queen. Alright, so, there we have it, good people. We have breaking news. Shout out to Queen Bella. Trade Saquon or Austin Eckler? Trade for Saquon? Um, Saquon gets injured too much for me. And Eckler, 